Hey everybody, Kendra here, and I am back with the thrift haul. One of my most favorite videos to share with you guys, and I have a really good haul today. Um, I will give you a little heads up. Somebody's doing some kind of yard work. It sounds like it's almost in my backyard. I, they're not in my backyard, but it sounds like it. And I can hear them going, ring, 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 ring. So maybe they're cutting a tree down or something. So if you hear that sporadically throughout the video, tis the season, it is spring. So that's just what happens. Um, I have a pretty amazing little gathering of such to share with you. So the hubby and I were out without the kiddos. We were running errands. He went to go run one of his errands and I noticed there was a thrift store across the street. So I said, dude, you go there. I go here and we'll meet back up. I spent two hours in the thrift store and um, I think you're going to see that it was two hours well spent because I have a lot of good things to share. I'm, I'm looking because I, I'm loving my treasures and I just can't stop looking so I keep looking down at everything. So let's just go ahead and jump in. As I'm hauling things for you, I will be sure to share tips and tricks along the way as I always do in my thrift hauls. Um, my first tip that I have for you, uh, I love to have items in my kitchen that with me being a preschool teacher and having little kids, I love a good like themed food, you know, like fun holiday molds or certain kind of cookie cutters, things that maybe I wouldn't use all the time and don't want to pay a lot of money for, but are fun to have on hand. And I'm totally cool with paying like 50 to 25 cents for maybe a few more dollars. Um, thrift stores are great to find stuff like that. Recently, I just found uh, the cutest little bunny cookie cutter. It's just like the back of the bunny. So like the ears and then a little bum. And then it has um, little circles to put his feet. So you could make like a really cute behind you know what I'm saying like you can picture it right I think I paid like 25 cents for that um, I found a Wilton like witch finger mold my boys are really like oddly into Halloween they love anything creepy like creepy um, appropriate because they are little so I found these really cool like they look like witch fingers and like the, the knuckles are all gnarly and it has like the old like l nail so they haven't seen that yet I'm gonna save it until Halloween and pull it out and we'll find something really cool to do with it so along the lines of that I've really wanted a spring load pant or is it called a spring load form something like that I would not use this very frequently um, but I've been wanting to make my own cheesecake I'm obsessed with cheesecake and I haven't had a good piece of cheesecake in two years since I've been gluten-free and I know there's some really great gluten-free cheesecake recipes out there. If you know one, leave a link to it in the description below or the comment below so that I can find it. So this is a really good brand. It's KitchenAid. It looks brand new. It's nice and like heavy, good quality. This was $2.99. Um, I also picked up this really pretty bread pan. It's not Pyrex, although it looks like Pyrex. It does have a name on the bottom, but I can't really make out where what it is. But I paid $1.99 for this. I love to make pumpkin breads and things like that. Um, again, gluten-free over here, but I do still make them for my children. I can make it for myself gluten-free as well, of course. But anyways, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, okay, this next one I was so excited to find. I love a good piece of vintage pottery. And this definitely fits along the lines of that and this color <gasps> i use this color a lot in my home along with um like green and blacks and grays and a little bit of yellow like a mustardy yellow so this is actually a soup um i forget what it's called crock soup crock yeah you can see you could put the soup in here. It didn't have a ladle with it, but it has a little spot where you would put the ladle. We are a soup loving family. We make a lot of soup in our instant pot. In fact, I'm having soup for lunch today. I share a lot of those recipes on Instagram. So we definitely have a use for this, but I'm kind of thinking of other ways I can use this. So this of course would be really pretty sitting on a shelf. Um, but I think I want to make like a succulent kind of terrarium type thing with this. And I think it'd be so pretty sitting on my kitchen table as a centerpiece. So I haven't quite decided its purpose as of yet, but it's going to be one of those things. So this was $4.99. It's really big. I will say this thrift store that I went to is in a nicer area. Um, and it's a newer thrift store. It's laid out really pretty, almost like a store. Their prices are a little bit higher than my normal thrift stores that I go to, but I always find such good stuff there. Um, in regards to home decor stuff, I picked up this pillow, which I think is so lovely. It's very neutral. And I love the print on it. The back is just kind of like a textured uh, material. So I um, have many projects going in the house right now, but soon I'll be turning our dining room into a library slash office for myself. And my husband's going to build some really cool built-in bookshelves because I'm a book obsessed gal. Uh, where they're going to be running up the wall and then go over the top of a window. And underneath the window is a little banquette. So I will have a really comfy 
like padded thing to sit on so that I can read books there and I'm looking for some neutral pillows to kind of fill in so that whenever I sit there I can get all kinds of cozy and I think this is gonna be perfect for that spot now whenever you're shopping for pillows I've talked about this in my last haul if you're interested in more of my pillow shopping tips because that sounds interesting right um, when you're shopping for pillows always make sure that you open up the zipper if they are zippered I don't recommend buying them uh, unzippered unless like you're cool with not being able to wash them and maybe you're putting it like on a chair outside or something um, but always open them up and kind of look around to make sure there's no surprises hiding inside you know because you are thrifting and you don't know where this stuff has been so it looks like somebody either was trying to save money and they filled this with some polyfill or maybe they made it this pillow themselves I don't know the material is really nice quality so I'll take all that polyfill out and I'll find a really cool like down or down alternative um, thing to put inside so until then this will just kind of be hanging out and I will say if you follow along on Instagram, I put a poll up if we like this pillow or not, and 70%, last time I checked, it was like 70% 70, 70 said, no, we do not like this pillow. I didn't listen to you, and I got it anyways, because I like it. Look at what it looks like. Let me see if I can pan you over here and show you this. See that poof? It looks just like my poof. I got this poof not too long ago uh, from TJ Maxx Online. Okay, are we centered and focused? Focused, focus, okay. Um, along the lines with home decor, I also picked up this little pretty pot. Always looking for a good planter. Has a hole already in it. I think I might use this one outside. Uh, this was a dollar. And I was so excited to find this one. I showed this to you guys when I was um, sharing my thrift trip on Instagram. I often will pop in on Instagram and take you guys thrifting with me and like kind of share some things that I find that maybe I don't want to buy or end up buying, but are still awesome. And also tips along the way. You ready to see this one? You ready? 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 <gasps> I was so excited to find this. So these vintage like cabiny mountain-esque prints are really on trend right now. They're very hard to find in thrift stores. This one is beautiful and it is so much our family. In the intro, I mentioned that we like to go to cabins. We go to Colorado every summer. I feel like that's where I should be living and not in Texas, but it just is not gonna happen. So um, until then, I love to surround myself with natural elements, anything with like mountain prints or all of those types of things. Our house is very like, we have a lot of baskets and I'll give you a tour of the living room at some point and kind of do like a, here's the living room and here's the thrifted items that I've, de I've decorated with. Because uh, I would say probably 90% of my living room is things that I've found while thrifting or antiquing or whatever. Anyways, I thought this was so pretty. I'm going to put this in my boys' room. They also have kind of like an outdoorsy, vintage thrift kind of a thing going on in their room. Um, their walls are painted this color, so I think it'll look really nice. And they do have some open wall space that I'm trying to fill. So look at the cabin. I mean, it just screams our family. It's perfect for us. Did I say I paid $1.99 for that? I did. All right. Uh, another thrift tip for you. I spend a lot of time in the basket section because there's so many things you can do with baskets. Of course, you can obviously go there to use them for gift baskets that you're putting together for somebody else. Don't buy baskets at like Michael's or whatever. They're so much more expensive and there's so many cute ones at thrift stores. In fact, if you're looking for Easter baskets for your kids, the thrift stores I've been with in the last few weeks are laced with them. There's all different kinds of Easter baskets. Um, but in our home, we use baskets for storage pieces, decor pieces. I have a basket wall where I hang up really cool like kind of bowl or flattened type uh, baskets. You'll see that whenever we do the, the haul of, or the tour of my living room. Um, and I found this one. I love the black with this kind of neutral uh, woven texture through. It's really pretty. And I think they're like medium to larger size baskets are $2.99. This one doesn't have a price tag on it, but it's in really, really good condition and it's a really good size. So I could use this at the top of a closet. Um, I, of course, it's got some flaws, like I'll have to cut this off. It's missing a handle, but I don't really care. If I decide to use it as a planter, which I like to do with baskets as well, I'll put a plant in it and you won't be able to see this. But if I put it in a closet to store stuff, I'm able to kind of grab this and pull it out. So. All, I have many uses in mind for this. We'll see where it ends up. I'm thinking more of a planter. Look back here. Do you see that basket? That was a thrifted one that I picked up. Uh, I think it was like $4. It was new with tags. Um, it's from Target. The tag from Target said that it was $25. So I will take it and I put a little snake plant inside. Do I have any other home decor pieces to show? Oh, I do. Look at this little cutie. I was so excited to find this one. So when I, I was actually out of the aisle and I saw this and a lady was like right by it and I didn't want to like beeline it from her and reach in front of her and grab it. So I tried to like play it cool, stay calm. I've been looking for something like this. Sorry, it's not focusing on her face, but 
this has a candle in it. It's a hand poured soy candle. Um, it was two dollars. It smells so divine. I've already burned it. It wasn't lit whenever I bought it. It smells like lychees. Has do you guys ever ever had lychees before? It smells like lychees and it smells like lilac mixed together. It is. Oh, it's such a good smell. I might actually look this up, this brand up, to see if I can find more from this company because I love the candle smell so much. But um, my plan for this after I burn it down is to, you know, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to put a plant inside so that she'll have little, like, fun little plant hair things growing out. So I was so excited to find that because I've been looking at these at other places and I just didn't want to spend the money on it. So, um, okay. Okay. In regards to the basket, when I said all the different things that we use baskets for in our home, I always look at the basket section no matter what, but I also look at the organizational section. The um, the Goodwills that I go into, they're very cluttered, they're not really organized. A lot of times where they have all the like organiz organizing kind of stuff, it's just like thrown on a thing and it's hard to kind of like look through it. But I suggest that you spend a little time digging and look at the things that they have and kind of think about what you need in your home. That's one of my really big tips. Before you go out thrifting, kind of take um, a walk around your home and see where do you need art pieces? What could you use in a certain room to kind of fill out the room? If you're organizing, measure things and see what kind of pieces that you need to kind of help you in your organizational project. So along with all the projects in our home, we're also organizing a lot of things in our home because, you know, I like to be crazy and make a lot of things going on at one time. So this I thought was a really cool piece to find because of the shape. It's nice and narrow, so there's many places I can slide it in where it won't take away a lot of other space. Um, I thought I could put this up in our bathroom, um, underneath the bottom shelf in our closet to store either, like we have extra products, like if things are buy to get whatever, so I'll have like an extra lotion or things like that in here. And I like that I can see through it so that I can kind of see what's going on. Or I was going to store extra toilet paper in here. Or we tried to put it in our fridge for fruit and veggies and stuff, but it was too tall. Um, I also thought about putting it in my pantry. So my pantry, I can slide this in on the bottom shelf. We have not the best pantry. Like it's underneath our stairs and it kind of goes down like this. So I'm tall, I'm 5'9", so I can only access a small portion of my pantry before I have to kind of crouch. So the usable space we have to be really smart with. Um, and this would be great for in there on the bottom shelf and I could put like extra things, like if we've got extra snacks for the boys that aren't on the main shelves, like for refilling purposes or chips, or we could put onions or potatoes or whatever. And it has these really cool, like separate, separate, I can't talk, separating, separating, that's what I was looking for, pieces so you can kind of divide out the areas if you wanted to, and I'm pretty sure that was new because it came with this tape to the bottom of it, and I'm holding on to this so that I can kind of use it as inspiration whenever I find a home place for that. So this one was $2.99. I think that's all the home stuff. All right, let's go on to clothing. Um, my husband hit the jackpot or I hit the jackpot for my husband this trip. But let me show you the things I got for myself first. Um, I did find this really cool vintage purse. This is very on trend right now, like the basket weave purses. This one, um, it looks like it's basket, but it's actually a plastic material. It has a magnetic um clasp on the front really cool inside just nice and red smells like an old lady you won't get that when you're buying your purses at the store it smells just like an old lady so i don't know i bought this for myself i was really excited to find it but when i really think about it i don't know that i would wear it that much so i might try to sell this on ebay and make a little profit off of it just because it is vintage and it's in such good shape somebody might buy this and really love it so i'd rather pass it on to somebody else i think i don't know i'm gonna sit on it for a little bit um I was really excited to find these pretties. I have big feet, I wear a size 11, so I don't often find shoes for myself at thrift stores. I think why these were probably there is because they were a size 11 and not a lot of people have feet that size, so nobody snagged them because they're, they're such a good deal. They're Brooks shoes. Um, Brooks is a really nice running brand. And because of that, these are so comfortable. One of my tips for you, when you're thrifting, put a pair of socks in your purse so that you can try shoes on and not feel yucky before you get them home and disinfect them. Um, so I put my socks on, tried these, uh, so comfortable. Um, and they're really cute. So these retail online for $89.99 and I got them for $6. Um, I also picked up these really cute linen pants for myself, just a wide leg. I think these would be really cute with some brown slide on sandals and a messy tuck shirt. They are Target brand and they were $4.99. So 
all of the clothing at this Target, not Target, all of the clothing at this uh, thrift store was 25% uh, off. So everything I share with you and I tell you the price, just take 25% off because I know you want to sit there and do the math, right? Uh, what else did I get for myself? Oh, this t-shirt. I thought this was really cute and kind of versatile for summer. I live in t-shirts, just like jeans, kind of cuffed with um, sandals and messy tuck tees. It's like my all-time summer, spring wardrobe when I'm not working. This was $2.99, 25% off of that. And I thought this top was so pretty. In fact, I think this was in store recently. It's an Old Navy shirt. I love the color of the floral print and it has this really pretty detail in the front and these little strings that hang off of it. It's very like boho-esque. So I think these would be so cute with some shorts, like denim shorts with a messy tuck or jeans. Um, but I think I might wear this to work too. So this was for 79, 25% off that. It's Old Navy if I didn't say that yet. Um, so I'm a preschool teacher and I love to find my clothing at thrift stores because if it gets paint on it, whatever, all kinds of things are going on when you're a preschool teacher. Um, I don't care if it gets messy and I have to toss it or I can't get the paint off of it or whatever. It's not that big of a deal. So I found this shirt. I thought it's so pretty. I like how feminine it is. It's Lauren Conrad. A lot of her stuff is just very like dainty and feminine. You can get her stuff at Kohl's. It's a, this is a size up than what I normally wear, but the thing with this material is that it flows and it hangs really well. So this will be really good for a messy tuck with some work pants. I'm headed into work after I film this. So I've got like my black, I live in black pants when I'm at work. And so I'm just picturing this with some black pants and a messy tuck and some sandals for the summer. Like soon, I could probably wear this this week. It's gonna be 81 one day this week. So this was 4.79, 80% off of that. And my tip for you is you don't have to shop in your size. Look in all the sizes if you have time. Um, always with going up a little bit, there's, you've got some wiggle room where you can do messy tucks or I like to knot some of my shirts at the bottom that are too big. So kind of think outside the box a little bit. So I said that my husband hit the jackpot. I'm about to show you all of his loot. I love this shirt. This is going to look so good on him. I maybe even have him wear this for our pictures when we're in Colorado. I don't know. I just love the color. It's a really simple print. Um, this is Surfside Supply. I haven't looked them up yet. I don't know that brand, but it's a nice shirt. $4.99. This was 25% off. The men's clothing was 25% off as well. Uh, I got him this little Henley. It looks brand new. It's just Target brand. So it's like, I mean, not Target. It's actually Walmart brand. So it's not anything like too crazy, but I know he'll wear this a lot. $2.99. 25% off of that. And then I got him this Urban shirt. I love this color. A lot of his clothing will go with this color. Uh, this was $2.99, 25% off of that. It's just basic. And he really needed some shorts. A lot of his shorts are way too big and they're like that cargo style, but like not an attractive cargo style. So we needed to get him some like slim line, like more on trend shorts. So I picked these up. I loved the material. They're nice and I think they'll be perfect for Texas summers because it gets so gosh darn hurt. Hurt? Gets to go so gosh darn hurt here. You know what I was trying to say. Hot. But they're Banana Republic. These were $4.99. Say it together, 25% off of that. Um, I love these, and I know he'll get a lot of use out of these. Just a good color. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a texture to it. I don't think it's linen, but I like them. They are also Banana Republic, and they were $49. They were $49 at the thrift store. They were $4.99, 25% off of that. And then I picked up these Target shorts. They still have the tag on them. I'm gonna come with that little belt. This is like something he'll probably live in this summer. There's something all that great about it, but the cut's nice and flattering and he'll wear that a lot. So whenever I'm picking out stuff for him, I try to keep in mind what he likes, what he will actually wear. Not stuff that like I want him to wear, but things that I know he'll wear. And I try to find pieces that I know will go together. So I saw these shorts. I think the shirt would look fine with these shorts. Um, he could wear this shirt with these gray shorts, which looks really good. Um, and then I kind of, I know his his closet because I buy most of his clothes for him. So I kind of know what he has on hand that will go with certain stuff. I missed a couple of home decor pieces. I found some really great Christmas stuff. I thought this book was so pretty. Can you see the bells? It's like gold little pretty bells. And I love that bright red color. And the spine says, um, the fireside book of Christmas stories. So we use books a lot in our home decor. So I know I'll get some good use out of this when Christmas comes. I don't know. We'll just put it out put like a candle on it or something so that'll be stored until then and then I found these French horns look at how cool they are I was so excited to find these um these will be really cool in a wreath 
um, hanging from like, we have some cool shutters over here behind you, which you'll see later. I could put it all hanging from the shutters. There's lots of things you could do with these. So the big one was $2.99 and this little one was $1.99. Really cool. Oh my goodness, did we get through everything? No, I didn't show you his shoes. All right, I found some great shoes for the hubby as well. These are Aldo. It looks like they've really never been worn. He will wear the junk out of these shoes. I just noticed that most of his stuff is blue. The only thing I got him that's not blue is this. He didn't complain though. He was actually really excited. So there are those. I actually don't know how much these were because I thought they were gonna charge me the boot price, but they are not boots. So they charged me the tennis shoe price, which is cheaper. So I don't know, we'll just say like $4. And then I found him these really cool Clarks. They're suede. Oh my gosh. Have you ever worn Clarks before? I feel like no, people don't talk about Clarks enough. They're kind of considered to be like an older person shoe brand, but they have really cute shoes and um, I love them. I love them. They're so good for work too. I wear a lot of their stuff when I'm at work because I'm a teacher. I'm on my feet all the time. So he was excited to get these. Um, now we're done. Now we're to the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. If you've been thrifting lately and you found anything really awesome, let me know in a comment down below and I will see you on the next one. Bye.